So once we have made the arrangement that uh, we needed, in this case, it was easy because we only have one image. We can go to the pre-processing tab. Okay, if we don't need any type of pre-processing in our image, we can go directly to the analysis tab. Okay, but normally it's, we need to do some pre-processing methods or some pre-processing task. Okay, so in this case, in uh, HyperTools, we have uh, cropping implemented, spatial and spectral cropping. We have a tool for detecting dead pixels and spikes. We have also binning tools and spectral pre-processing. We have the classical uh, auto-scaling and Kubelka moon transformations, standard normal variate, multiplicative scatter correction, smoothing and derivatives that we can use in the order as many times as we need. Then we have some masking pre-processing methods like PCA scatter plot, wavelength selection, PCA score surface selection, manual and k-means. And then inside masking, if we need to refine the morphological mask that, uh, or we need to refine the mask, we can make some more morphological operations like erosion, dilation, opening, closing, filling holes, or elimination of regions in by size, or if we need it uh, manually with the mouse, okay? So in order to illustrate how pre-processing works, we have to say also that you can apply as many pre-processing steps as you need. It really depends on the case that you want to study, okay? That is, if you want to make a spatial crop and then pre-process spectral pre-processing, you can do it. If you want to make a spectral pre-processing and then a spatial crop of a spectral crop, you can do it. That is the pre-processing, the actual pre-processing will be performed in on the previous pre-processing on or on the original image if you haven't done any pre-processing in that moment, okay? So in this case, imagine that I want to make pre-processing like SMV at I will make SMV, I will apply SMV to the spectra of my image, and then I want to make a spectral cropping or a spatial cropping. I will do the spatial cropping on the image with SMV as pre-processed methods, okay? Like this. So I will be using this image. Another utility is the fact that in here we have the same ability of checking things in the image in the wavelengths or in the images by being able to select, for instance, in this case, one wavelength, like in the previous uh, slides, or many wavelengths, okay? Or even in the other way around, if we have, if we, can, if we want to select this or visualize the spectrum of one pixel or many pixels at the same time for instance this one and this one again okay or even we can calculate in some specific areas the average spectrum okay and we can move and we can save all this information as we did before okay so in order to illustrate properly how pre-processing works, let's start from the first two, okay? So I will just erase everything we have done so far in pre-processing, and I will start with a spatial crop. Spatial crop is simple, simply a tool in order to select an area of my image. It will be always a square area, okay? So it doesn't really matter if you want to, uh, or if you, select this plastic, you can just select the square that contains that plastic, okay? Erase. With the spectral crop, we have two options. Min max, that is we can say, for instance, instead of 939, we can say we want from 1,100 1, and the maximum 1,503. So if we apply, it will select this area, so we will obtain this area. Or we can do it with the mouse. And with the mouse, you see, on the pre-selected area, we apply this selection. That is, everything is done on the previous pre-processing, okay? So in this case, we will use this area, okay? 
this concerning a spatial and spectral crop 